now let's talk about the azure uh, why azure and like you know how how azure can help you uh, uh, you know do the analysis you know on the tips right so as we know that azure as a ocean right it offers over 600 services and uh, some of the common services are uh, compute services uh, storage services web app services um, uh, disaster recovery services uh, data services right so here we'll talk about the data services and mainly azure synapse right so when you when you go with the azure data services you know you can basically uh, do the analysis uh, based on your needs, you can uh, design the framework or you can do the implementation based on your needs. And, uh, you know, when, when, when we say these services, we call it as intelligent database services, right? So they know, uh, you know, what is a workload, right? How to report the problems, how to escalate, whom to escalate, when to escalate, you know, uh, by sending the emails, by sending the messages, doing the push notifications, right? And they, they maintain the uh, overall, uh, you know, logs that can help you do the custom analysis right so they are pretty much intelligent itself you know so they will help you uh, you know uh, uh, in de deciding what needs to be done to uh, to make sure that your application is up and running second is hyperscaling so when you are running into the on premises environment scalability is one of the biggest issue these days right for example uh, if you're uh, uh, let's let's talk about uh, you know uh, uh, thanksgiving sales right now my application is being hosted on premises and um, uh, it is capable of doing, uh, you know, maybe thousand requests per second, right? But considering the sales, I know that my sales is going to be twice or thrice, you know, 10 times. So in that case, uh, you need to deploy extra hardware. So you need to buy new servers. You need to, uh, you know, replicate you your uh, application. You need to install the traffic manager or balancers kind of thing, you know. But after three, four days, you are back to thousand orders, right? So if you if you see your ROI, you know what you and, and what investment you have done. If you compare those, you will be at the losing end, right? So scalability is hard to achieve within the on-premises environment, but uh, when you are in the cloud, on just two clicks, your system is scaled up, right? And once the job is job is done, it's simply scaled down, right? So you will be using what you are using, right? You will be paying for what you are using. Then we have uh, 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 put a built-in intelligence to work for you. This is mainly into the uh, monitoring and alerting system, right? So if there are some problems, it, it, that will send you the alerts. And then overall uh, costing will be reduced and it will definitely boost your uh, productivity, right? And when it comes to the combination of the Power BI and Azure Synapse together, you know, uh, what happens is uh, Power BI tries to find out the pattern, you know, what kind of, uh, uh, analysis the user is uh, mainly doing, you know, or frequently doing, uh, what kind of uh, uh, conditions they're providing, uh, providing for slicing or dicing the data, right? Uh, so these these patterns are collected and, uh, you know, it is it is given to the Azure Synapse and Synapse takes those, those factors and try to create a view for that, right? Maybe data is coming from various tables, but since you have view in place, you are going to query the view and these are materialized, are, these are physical views, right? So your overall uh, seek and latency time is gonna be very less when you have these materialized views in place. So that actually, you know, uh, uh, bump up the overall uh, performance, right? So these are the few factors for the Azure.